Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grace and peace to you all, and welcome to the Easter sunrise service here at the Old Bluff. I'm so happy to see you all here today. It's been two years since we've done this Easter sunrise service, and it's um, one of my favorite services of the year, as I'm sure it is for many of you. Um, I'm happy to be here as we worship God and celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, we will be having communion this morning, um, and I'll introduce it again when we get to that time. Um, but we'll be doing the flowering of the cross and communion at the same time. So what you'll do is you'll bring your flower up, place it on the cross, and then we'll have two elders um, standing with the, the trays of cups. And you can come and just take your cup and go back to either your seat or where you're standing um, until I prompt you to take um, the elements. So it's, it's one of those little prepackaged cups with the wafers that you'll um, be having at communion time. Um, you are welcome to stick around a little bit if you'd like. It's, um, it's cold, but it's not as cold as I anticipated it being. Um, so you can um, eat biscuit and um, gather for a little bit as we, as we uh, head out. And then I invite you to come back at 10 o'clock to Bluff for our Easter service in the sanctuary. Um, hope to, to see you there. Um, so as we uh, now prepare our hearts for worship, let us call ourselves to worship using the call to worship in the bulletin. This day is like every other day. Alarm clocks beat, covers were removed, coffee was brewed, weary bodies came to life. And yet this day is like no other day. For the sun rose and we knew it was a miracle. The tomb was empty and they knew it was love. And so again and again we say, the longest night is over. Death has lost its sting. Jesus is coming among us. Alleluia. Amen. Again and again and again. Alleluia. Amen. Friends, had we been there that first Easter morning, it is likely that many of us would have been with the disciples, hiding out in fear, locked behind doors, alone with our thoughts in the upper room. I wish I could say that I would have gone with the women, that I would have been brave and determined. I wish I could say that I would have held on to my faith. But the truth is, we'll never know. What I do know is that Jesus came back for all of us. Not the few who maintained faith, or the few who stayed with him until the end. He came back for the broken and the afraid, for the cowardly and the greedy, for the women in the garden, and for the disciples hiding in the upper room. He came back for those who betrayed him and those who worshipped him. He came back for you and for me. So join me in the responsive prayer of confession, knowing that no matter where we are on the spectrum of faith, Jesus lived, loved, and returned for us. Let us pray. Beloved community, before God and before you, my family, I confess. I have seen the sun rise and withheld my praise. I have seen my neighbors suffer and withheld my aid. I have seen love extended and chosen to walk away. I have seen divisions deepen and manage to remain unfazed. We, we hear, hear you. you. We, we see you. You, you are forgiven. forgiven. God's love is like the sun. No matter how lost we are in the night, day after day, the light will find you. Rest easy, you are held in God's warmth. Thanks be to God. Amen. Now we must pray, beloved friend, before God and before each other, we confess. We have seen the sun rise and withheld our praise. 
We have seen our neighbors suffer and have withheld our aid. We have seen love extended and chosen to walk away. We have seen divisions deepen and managed to remain unfazed. I hear you. I see you. You are forgiven. God's love is like the sun. No matter how lost we are in the night, day after day, the light will find you. Rest easy. You are held in God's warmth. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia. Amen. The words to our hymn are printed on your order of worship. Jesus, my Savior, waiting the coming day, Jesus, my Lord, up from the grave he rose, with the mighty joy of voice rose, he arose a victor from the dark domain, and he lives forever with the saints to reign. He arose, he arose, hallelujah, Christ arose. Death cannot keep its prey, Jesus my Savior. He tore the bars away, Jesus my Lord. Up from the grave he rose, with the mighty triumph for his foes. He arose a victor from the dark domain, and he lives forever with the saints to reign. He arose, he arose, hallelujah, Christ arose. Let us pray. God, there are a million ways that you speak to us, God of the garden and God of the empty tomb. You speak to us in rituals, both formal and organic, in drops of water on foreheads, in vows said at the altar, through pieces of bread dipped in ordinary wine, and through shared candlelight on Christmas Eve. You speak to us in nature, your artistry showing up in starry nights, in the smell of pine, in rushing water, and in most every sunrise. You speak to us through our relationships, the comfort of a loved one, the laughter of our friends, the security of those who support us and cheer us on. You speak to us in so many ways, and we are grateful for them all. However, today we need just one. That would be enough. So lean down and breathe life into these sacred texts. We are craving to hear your word like never before. We are craving to understand, to see ourselves in the story. We are craving proximity to you. There are a million ways that you speak to us. Today we need just one. With hearts full of gratitude, we pray. Amen. Our scripture reading this morning is at a sunrise, much like we are, from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, verses 1 through 8. So listen now to the word of God from Mark as we hear the Easter story. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, and Salome brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man, dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. 
But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our reflection this morning comes um, from a poem from Anne Weems, a Presbyterian poet. She um, wrote this one called Easter Party. So listen now to these wonderful words. I think on Easter morning we should throw confetti in church. No? What about a little fanfare? A deafening drum roll? A three-minute standing ovation? What? Can't do that? Have we had the drums beaten out of us that we in the celebrative community can't really get all that excited about God's aliveness? About God's love given to us unconditionally? Have we given Easter up to the lily bearers, the bunny rabbits, the patent leather, leather shoes? Let's face it. We live as though we don't believe in Easter. Easter scares us because we're the people who can't believe that God gives us abundant life. We think we have to earn it. But Easter says it's already been paid. Easter says no matter how prodigal, we can go home again. So let's celebrate that amazing grace that in Christ's resurrection, we are still loved, even at our most outrageous. The Lord has given us the music. All we need to do is dance it. So come to the Easter party. Friends, I suppose we could call this the Easter party, the table of communion. We stand in the resurrection garden of God, a place suffused and shaped by love and ripe with potential. And this is the table of the risen Lord, a place fashioned and furnished by love and rich with its promises. So come, whether you have seen or believed or are dubious and doubting still, whether you confess confidently or are with a fragile and fearful heart, Come and share these gifts of grace. Encounter Christ and be healed by love and transformed by life. Let us pray. Before the bright dawn in the garden in which love was resurrected, before the cold silence of the tomb by which love was swallowed, before the black horror of the cross on which love was broken, before the bitter struggle of another garden, through which love affirmed its choices. Jesus, eating a final supper with his friends, blessed and broke bread and poured out a cup of wine, sharing these tokens with them as a confirmation of the life he had lived and a sign of what was to come. So we too, recalling that moment and honoring that life, take and break this bread. And pour out this cup. As a confirmation and sign that we are part of its ongoing story and remembering with wonder and joy that love, though broken on a cross, was not defeated. And though swallowed by death, was not silenced, but lives unvanquished and speaks still and to all. Words of welcome, healing, and hope. 
We join our voices with that of creation with all those who bear witness around the world and throughout the ages for the transforming power of God's love and life. And as we remember and rejoice, we ask God to send down your Holy Spirit on us and on this gift of bread and the cup that we might live once again, encounter love, and be transformed by life. Amen. At this time, I invite you to declare the good news of the empty tomb by placing your flower on the cross. Once you've done that, um, our elders will, um, hand, will be holding trays and you come and just take one cup and go back to your seat and then I will prompt you when it's time to take the, the bread and the cup. So if our elders will come forward at this time. The feast is ready. Praise 
Thanks be to God for that music. Amen. If you would like to uh, peel off your wafer top and take that out, and we can partake with one another the body of Christ broken for you. Thanks be to God. And now the cup. The blood of Christ shed for you. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us close in prayer. With grateful hearts, we come to you on this day of resurrection, may we strive to serve the risen Lord in all that we say and do. May this feast nourish us to do your will in this world. And may we always look for the kingdom of God in our midst. Amen. And now, friends, may joy and nothing less guide you on your way. May you be blessed so that you may be a blessing. And may light, the light of our crucified and risen Lord, guide you and countless others all the way home. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we will sing one verse of He Lives. Yes, it's printed on your order of worship. Mm -hmm. He lives, he lives, he lives Christ, Christ Jesus, Jesus lives, lives today. today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Amen. And now as we go from here, you're invited to stick around if you'd like but i invite you also to pass the peace with one another just as the risen jesus did when he stood among his disciples so let us offer one another a sign of that peace may the peace of christ be with you and also with you go in peace